Okay, I want to thanks first uh, to Beotor, to Mr. Brun. They, uh, they helped me to back the fight again and I'm very happy because <coughs> I did this thing all my life. And I want to uh, thanks to everybody who support me, to my buddy, Glenn Amador, <laughs> my boxing coach, my manager, and my family. We'll check the room one last time for questions from the media. Right, gentlemen, your next question. Question for Alexander. Um, looking at this fight, I think a lot of people expected it to be a striking matchup, but Mo came right across the cage and tried to get inside for a takedown. Were you surprised that he was um, so apt and, and willing to w want to wrestle in, instead of strike uh, from the on, on, onset of the match? Really, uh, I saw how he uh, fight in his last fight, and uh, I expected this from him. I expected that he... Uh, uh, first round, he uh, maybe he starts with his boxing, but then he will try to wrestle. But uh, he tried to wrestle and uh, and the start of the round. So I uh, expected that I, I was ready to. Do it. Thank you. Question for Bl uh, Blagoy. Uh, obviously, you're gonna fight Volkov next. Um, standing next to one another, it's clear he has a, a quite a significant reach. Are you worried about that coming into the final? Alexander, he is good fighter, good striking and kicking, uh, but I think he will have a problem with uh, his wrestling, wrestling and grammar count. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you. Let's check the room one last time for questions from members of the media. All right, gentlemen, your final question. Okay, this might be way off topic. But, um, <laughs> we haven't heard that much about whether there's going to be a second season of Fight Master. What exactly is the um, status of that? Uh, you know, I think tonight was a, is a spectacular testament to what we as a company do exceptionally well, and that is put on really great fights. You know, I mean, it, it we're... I've always said we're a live event production and promotion company. That's what we do. That's where our expertise is, and that's been honed over oh, 100 and, you know, close to 120 events. So that's where really we're going to put all the focus. You know, we're peaking over a million viewers per show consistently. The the plus three numbers are always seven figures. Um, that's where the emphasis is because and reality is fun and it's got its place in different genres, but. The live events like this, when you get seven fights on TV and you get knockout after knockout, finish after finish, and you can tell incredible stories like his story um, in a short burst because you got wickedly talented feature producers. That that's really what I think the game is all about. That's what you know. I mean, I, I watch NFL Network and I watch pre-recorded stuff, but the the essence of the NFL is the live event experience. The essence of MMA is the live event experience for television and in, in a live event scenario. So. I think that's where most of our focus goes. Whether we'll do more stuff on the reality front, I don't know, maybe. But you're going to see some killer shoulder stuff for the pay-per-view. I've been looking at that stuff and working with our partners at Spike and editing it. It is just crazy entertaining stuff with Alvarez Chandler and Mo versus Paige who hate each other and all that stuff that we're creating. So that, that's where the focus is. Bjorn, thank you very much for those members of the media. Thank you so much. And Bjorn, we'll throw it back to you for closing comments. Yep, just once again, a huge thank you to these guys for giving us this kind of night. This was just awesome and epic. If you're a fan of MMA, tonight was a, a night to remember. So thank you, guys. And for now, we'll see you downstairs on the casino floor here at Pachanga Resort and Casino. You want to talk with that blonde girl?